For the Circuit Python Parsec today, I wanted to talk about state toggles. So this came from a question in a YouTube comment about being able to toggle something like light on, light off, and have an LED show you the state that things are in. So I decided to use the macro pad to demo this because we get 12 of these nice buttons and they have 12 NeoPixels integrated into them. Uh, let me demo it first. So what I can do is press a button and it will toggle to a different state and a different color. If I press it a second time, any of those buttons, they will toggle back to their original color. So you can think of this just as a simple on off toggle. The state on these is now this second state, this purple state, and now I can bring them back to their first state, which is kind of neat if you want to do little pixel art types of things, uh, but it's also useful if you're using it to control stuff out there and you want to know what, what's the status, is it on and off, uh, is it two different colors, that sort of thing. So the way this is done is I'm importing some libraries so that I can deal with the keys on here and the NeoPixels, and then I'm setting up a couple of color variables, set up my NeoPixels, define the key pins for the keys and the keypad. And then here's the, the important part for this. I have a list called LEDs state. And I set it initially to be a list of 12 items long. All of them are set to true. So I'm just calling that my initial state when these are in this blue color. Uh, then in the main loop, I check for key presses. And if a key gets pressed, I mark down, I, I, uh, I create this variable called key and I mark down which key it is. So it's key zero in this case. Uh, and this is key 11 in this case. Then I go and check if it's a key that has been pressed, I ask that list up there, hey, is item zero true or false? And in this case, it's gonna go, well, it's, it's true right now. It's in its initial state. So that means I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna change the color from blue to purple. And then I'm also going to change that state in that list. So now the zero item, the first item in the LEDs state list is set to false. Now to keep track of these, you can see I'm printing out the state of everything. So if I set them all to off, you'll see down in the REPL there, it's all zeros. If I change that first one, that one's a one now and so on. So as I go through and mark these, I'm keeping that whole list with all of the states of all the buttons and then I can look them up as needed. And the same is true in reverse, right? When they are set to the false state, that's when this else kicks in. It says, check, oh, the key state is false. If it was false, I'm going to change it to blue, and then I'm going to flip that state so you can see the first number in my list there changed to a one or a true. And so that is how you can toggle state inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.